Dre Dre, what's up? Benefits, what's up? ICD, what's good? Prince of Death, what's up? Khalil, what's up? Court Pickles, Mr. Wavy. Ant, what's up? Javon, what's up? You have Red Pill say he has that royalty. Daryl, what's going on, dog? John, what's up? Don, what's up? What that brush do, Mike? You just scalp, but you don't know how to brush a swirl. It all depends on where your swirl located, where your crown located at for the swirl. It change up. I see you, big bro. Quiz, what's up? Rude, what's up? Official Big Bank, what's up? How your crown moves so damn fast? <laughs> I don't know, man. All you gotta do is brush it, man. You gonna you gonna get though. Mr. Wavy, what pattern you got right now? You got you got uh three sixties now, don't it? Three sixties. Daniel, what's up? Today's man, I'm just gonna be doing a little crown work on my a little crown work. <laughs> I was finna say a crown, little crown work on my crown. <laughs> it's five forty swirl or three sixty swirl. Easy. I got I scalp behind with days of. Days ago to start a swirl. Your swirl is a little bit easier. The crown part, it all depends. <clears throat> if you coming from a beehive, it, it, it just all depends. Look, Vico, what's going on? You from France? That's what's up, man. Go back and hit that right side of that crown. I think you're talking about the left side. Appreciate it, Brandon. Depp, what's going on? Hey, how are you? How you keep your hair laid when it's humid? <sighs> the only way to really keep your hair laid is make sure it's you you the main thing like double compress. You gotta be double compressed for a couple hours before you go out into the heat. And then uh make sure your hair moisturized real good. And more than likely it'll stay. It ain't going to stay completely laid, though. Because heat make your hair rise up. George, what's good, bro? Appreciate it, man. This is the right side right here, Mr. Wave. I know you probably talking about right there, though. When you're doing crown work, you got to isolate your crown. Hey Henry, I got beehive coming. I'm brushing consistent. What is the little tip I can use to push me over the top? Uh, mainly just if you're talking about your actual crown, you just gotta do like the tap method. What I was just doing, lightly tap around your crown so it'll close up a little quicker. Will you go be going back to G's or is that a yearly thing you do? Yeah, that's like yearly. I went in April. I just went in April. Uh, the Jesus shop. Been a while since I dropped in the live. Terrence, what's going on? TB. What's good, bro? You know what I'm saying? I got them TV products up here. Trinity's House of Suds. Uh, there you go. I ain't using no products right now, though. I'm just doing a little crown work. Trying to get this crown right. But when you're doing crown work, you want to isolate your crown. Don't brush your whole head with your crown. You just got to stay in that little area that you're trying to green room look empty. Where the brush gone. 
brush is gone. <laughs> my homeboy came over here and stole my uh, other hook. And I just ain't never go get another uh, hook. And then I took my brush rack to uh, one of my friends so he can build me another brush rack. He just wanted to use it as an example so he can see how he can improve on it and stuff like that. So it's, it's over his house right now. But it, the reason that it ain't really been up, because Ace Wavy came over here and stole my brush brush uh, hook, my hook that was holding my brush rack up. Yeah, I see it, though. Still trying to transition this left side. It probably looked like my right side to y'all, but still trying to transition this left side, pull it down a little bit more so my waves will be, my beehive will be more symmetrical whenever I do get it formed up all the way. But when you're doing crown work, you want to make sure you isolate your crown like this right here. Just go around it and tap real lightly. You don't got to tap hard. You just want to go around there and try to isolate your crown and make that hole as small as possible. The more in the center of your head it is, the better it's going to be, though. I know some people like doing the offset beehive. But I like, I'm trying to really force my crown because my crown is really like right up in this area. So I've been forcing my crown to the middle. It could be up a little bit more, but I think that's this is about as good of a spot that I'm going to get it in. So, TB, appreciate that, bro. It's flat or curved best for the swirl. Uh, It all depends on your angles. It, the brush really don't matter. <clears throat> but uh, the cramp... I mean, it all depends on how you use the brush. Like the curved brushes, it's good for like if you swooping the actual crown and stuff like that. But at the same time, you can mess up your angles if you don't brush it right. And the crown, the uh, uh, flat brushes, you still gotta work. You gotta work your angles a little bit harder when you're using the uh, flat brushes, but. It's it, they it's pretty much all in how you use the brush and what angles you how you brushing, <laughs> cause your angles gonna change a little bit with each brush that you use. You can't use the same exact angles when you switch brushes, cause every brush got like a different size to it. So if the brush is a different size than one of the brushes that you're using, you gotta switch up your angles just slightly. Five forty style owl, what's going on? I might have got to roll out, have more work. Make sure y'all go to Trinity House of Suds too, man. Check out my boy products. I'm coming, though. I got faith you're going to have the best beehive. Appreciate it, man. Oh, you say it's coming. Oh, yeah. Amari, what's going on? Oh, no, my bad. Omar, what's up? But, yeah, when you're isolating your crown, just go around it and tap. Don't do too much. Don't try to do too much like pulling all the way from hill to hill or pulling all the way from hill to hill. You just want to go right in that little area. Take your time. Watch how your hair move when you hit it. Because like if I hit it over here, it might, if I hit it too hard up here or something like that, it might create a line over here. And then if it does, all you're doing is just going back inside of that little line. You see that, like that little area right there? When I pulled this way, that area right there got messed up a little bit. So now I just hit that area and try to pull it out and keep everything in place. Like that right there. Now I just keep tapping all the way around. Right now I'm only using one hand because I can't really brush. I can brush my left with my left, but I can't brush as good as I can with my right. So I just pretty much just using the right, my right hand on my whole crown. But when I actually brush the left side, I use my left hand. But on the crown work, I just use my strong dominant hand. 
whichever one that might be for y'all. And you just gonna go around it and tap, keep tapping, keep tapping. See now, when I did the tapping, it's like that little area right there. So I'm gonna just come right in that area, put the brush right up in there and just tap. Now, when I did that, this area, and it's just a, a, a repeat, just keep doing the same thing over and over. And eventually, it's gonna get the, like I can see the rings starting to form up a little bit already, but my hair ain't really at curl lift back here, so that's the main reason why I really ain't got no waves or nothing back there. You, your hair got to be at curl lift for it to um, start uh, forming up right. Leonard, what's up? G the Hustler, what's going on? Trying to be like you. Oh, yeah, still off the weed, bro? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely... <laughs> I ain't smoked no weed. I went when I went to Cali though. I got I, I smoked a little weed, but I don't really uh I don't smoke weed though. The swirl is definitely easier to get. I had beehive grew my mohawk for the winter. Now I got the swirl. Oh yeah, trap. What's going on? Wavy Sean, what's up? God of Green, what's good, bro? Yo Henry, got you in CHQ. What I said before, please help with my forts. I don't know what you're talking about. What is CHQ? How long will it take? How long will it take get achieve your B, your beehive, bro? Uh, it probably won't take that long. It, the the actual crown probably form up in about another. I want to say another two, maybe two, three months. Can you give me some help? But can you give me some help? But been brushing, but can't get my 360 waves. If you can't get waves, that means your hair ain't long enough. That's the only thing that's stopping you from getting waves. If your hair ain't long enough and you ain't brushing consistently, then you ain't going to have waves. You got to have your hair curl length. That's the only way to get waves. Your hair got to be able to curl up so you can sh stretch the curls out and lay them down. I got the hard Torino. These brushes right here are like really great for crown work right here, especially beehive crown work. But if you don't have that, you can get like a, a curved brush with a pointed end too. That'll be a, a straight for crown work. Our split ends are thin with waves. Uh, yeah, but more than likely, you you ain't gonna have no split ends like that. If you do washing style and stuff like that, you should be straight. I mean, it don't affect as much as, uh, it don't really affect as much as like if you got straight hair or something like that. I got a question. So I just got my first pair of Torino Pro brushes. I see a lot of waves using them during washing styles. Are the brushes able to be used without cracking? Oh, uh, they should be. I, I don't use the I don't use the uh Torino Pro um just on leaving in the water when you brushing. You know what I'm saying? But I got the uh this is the brush that I usually wash with right here. The Diane eight one five nine, but I don't wash with uh a couple Torinos. Pretty sure I don't wash with this Torino right here before. This is a hard ass brush right here though. I usually use like hard brushes, hard bristle brushes to wash my hair with. Are you going for beehive or swirl? I don't know how to say your name. Tino Tender. I'm going for beehive. Uh, her money I'm spending, but I got a lot of forts. I need help. Uh, the main thing you you can do to help with forts, it's it's waving is really simple, man. It's only a couple of answers for all your problems. You got a wolf, you know what I'm saying? 
wolf, then once you get an established pattern, you got to cut it low and then grow it back out, wolf again. Just wolf consistently all year long. So you want to go a minimum of like six to eight weeks between haircuts. A minimum of like six for sure. Don't cut before six weeks. And then if you if you can't man, man you got to work your way up though. Don't just start going for the lone wolves and you can't maintain your health. So when you get to like six weeks, you want to cut it down low, cut to like a one point five or something. And then it might you might lose a little progress, but all that's gonna do is help you re. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to tear it down to build it back up better. So I need uh. And then comb, combing helps a lot with your connections. I need a good hair growth or what? And another thing, hold on. Another thing is uh, brushing the right angles. You gotta make sure you're brushing the right angles. But for the hair growth, get you some uh, My Fluffy Puffs Regal 7. If you can't uh, get that right there, get you some wild growth oil. And that uh, that should help you out. Bring the smoke, hurricane. Bring it. <laughs> Yo, you in the green room. Let's get to work to get that them brushes moving. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about doing a 1.5 with medium hair. I got medium hair, too, so 1.5 should be straight. It, it all depends on, like, the thickness of your hair. That's the main thing that affects, like, how low you can cut. Like, when I even when I scalped, I still had, like, waves in there, so... That's the main thing. I'm wolfing now in like two weeks. Has it been two weeks since you got a haircut or has it been like a month? A month is like two. If you've been growing your hair a month, that's technically like two weeks of wolfing. Bowler, you might want to do a two with the medium. Of course, I got a 1.5 today. Any advice if your hair grow faster on angles? My top grow faster than my right. Uh, just don't get your right side cut as low when you get a haircut. Let your uh, right side stay a little bit higher than uh, like your top and stuff like that. Like if you get a 1.5 on the top, try to get like a 2 on the sides or something like that. You got to have a good barber that will actually listen to you though. You have a good barber. A good barber is essential in the wave game. You got to have somebody that know how to cut your hair right. I'm swirling, but I'm mixing up my angles. That happened to a lot of people right there, man. If you just make sure you ain't hooking when you're doing the swirl, make sure you ain't hooking up too fast. You want to get like right on the side of your crown before you hook up. And don't hook all the way around or you'll start to get like that 720 look. You want to just do like a little flick up. And then come back and pull it back out like that right there. So it's, all you're doing is, I actually I use like the back of the brush and I use the back. And it'll be like the brush will be sticking out. And I just touch it with the corner. And I flick up like that. Then I pull it back out. Once I, I don't even go, I try not to go into my top when I'm doing the swirl. I just flick up. And then I pull out from the. <clears throat> hey, Hurricane, I had curls last year. Then one day I was browsing YouTube and seeing you hook up your homie with waves. And one hour I did the same thing and have been waving ever since that day. Every day since. Yeah, man. A lot of people think that video fake. Like, oh, he already had waves. Man, that man... You see that man right now, he ain't got no waves. That man ain't, <laughs> that man do not brush. That's one thing I can tell you. He do not brush at all. He don't even own a brush. Two brush. But yeah, back to this crown. Crown isolation is like the, the key. To getting your crown right, even if if you're swirling or beehiving, crown isolation is the key. So you got to isolate your crown and just brush your crown. Don't brush your whole your whole pattern with your crown, because then you'll start messing up. So you're gonna mess up on some angles. 
So just make sure you just taking your time and just going around that crown. If you got the swirl or if you got a beehive, you got to take your time and just tap around that crown. Hold on one second. I'm going to get back to y'all comments in one second. Let me get a little brush work done. My crown's still just a little bit bigger than what I really want. I want it to be like butthole tight. You know what I'm saying? Now you see how I was pulling that and I created that line right there? Whenever you create that line, all you're going to do is put the brush directly on that line and just pull out, pull through it. Now that line gone. No matter where you see, if you see like a little thin area or some, or the spot that you, if you're trying to close up your crown, you're going to put the brush right inside of that, that ball area. Let me get back to y'all comments. Yes, Henry's 540 was an inspiration, hence my name. <laughs> it wasn't fake, it worked. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it a lot. No problem, dog. But one thing, why you start over? I just switched patterns. That's the only reason why I started over. I had the swirl and now I'm going beehive. It, it take too long to transition from one pattern to the other. Just shifting your pattern, especially like when you got five forties, it could take you up to a year or two just to shift it to the right place. I wanted a fresh canvas so I can start over. It'll be a little bit quicker than if I start the transition, especially trying to transition from five forties to uh, beehive. If it was from beehive to five forties, it'll be a little bit easier. But I see it. I see it already, bro, how it's gonna be. You confident you're gonna, gonna have some bad boy beehive ways, my G. Oh yeah. It's definitely gonna be though, man. Long as you take your time and don't try to rush to get ways, man, your ways gonna be straight, I'm telling you. You just gotta take your time and tap around, tap around the crown. That's the main thing you gotta do. Just go around it and tap around your crown. Exactly, scalping is better than trying to transition. Oh, yeah. You try a crown brush? What you mean by trying a crown brush? What's a crown brush? Oh, a round beard brush? Nah. This actually is way better than one of those round brushes right here. This brush got like the little pointy end so you can get directly into your crown and pull it out from different directions. That circle brush is pretty much the same as like the back. Well, I could have used that brush, but the same thing as this back end. You're going to have to try to get right on the corner of it. You're going to have to try to use the corner of the brush so you can be more accurate with your strokes. Like, I can use it, but it ain't as good as if I was just using the tip or the pointy end. Like, when I'm working my crown, this is the only, that little part right there, it's like the only part of the brush I'm really using. I'm not using the whole brush. I'm just using, like, that part right there, and I'm tapping around my crown. I'm just going around. And trying to get in between those little spots. 
of my crown. Now, if your crown more open, like I said, you just put the brush all the way in there. Even if it's open, you want to brush the open spot. And you see, I ain't brushing fast. I'm not brushing hard. I'm just lightly tapping my crown. And it, it, it may not seem like it's doing much, but def, trust me, it's definitely doing a lot. You don't have to be aggressive with your strokes when you're doing your crown. You just got to take your time and brush it right. Especially if you got a thinner crown like me. Like my crown is the thinnest, thinnest part of my hair. Now you see like that little area right there. I'm going to just come over there. Just tap it. It's a little split right there. Just come around and tap it. Now you see how I got that little slit right there. You just want to put the brush directly in there and tap it all the way around. And just keep doing that. And eventually when you get the hair, now you could put like a little pomade around it and it'll help you, uh, it'll help your hair stay in the place a little bit better. But I, I don't really like pomade that much, but eventually when my hair get a little bit longer, I'm gonna start putting the pomade in uh, just a little bit in my crown area so when I do brush it it'll stay exactly in the place where I want it to be. But right now, like I don't know I, I ain't even been wearing no do rag like that. Like I wear the do rag three, four times a week. I don't wear it every single day. And that's why but if you want your hair to stay laid, you got to wear the do-rag every day. But at the same time, if you're wearing a do-rag every day, you're going to start, like, forcing those forks into your head. And I want my curls to be a little bit looser, so when I, when my waves actually reach curl length, it'll be easier to move. Uh, <laughs> this nigga say roach on the wall, cuzzo. There ain't no roach on the wall. That's a... Uh, that's a hook. <laughs> Niggas crazy. But anyways, it's Swag Drizzle part of WTBD. He deserves it, bro. Now Swag Drizzle is on a, a wave team called Imperial. So, nah, he ain't on a WTBD. Why you don't like pomade? I don't like pomade. It just I just never been like a pomade type of guy. It's just weigh your hair down, make it hard for your waves to breathe. But uh, it's, it's, it's plenty of guys that use it though. Like that's Jeezy. <laughs> Every time you see Jeezy, he got a big can of Murray's pomade, a three sister style pomade. Dig, I'm gonna try one of those. It's the other brush you use you using a hard, yeah. This is a medium brush right here. And this is a hard brush right here. So those are the two brushes that I'm pretty much using right now on my crown. Never mind all that. You killed five four. This take three sixty G's out the game. Answer cruel Sean. You used to pray for the drip. <laughs> oh yeah. I like soft brushes for the crown. Yeah, I got a soft brush right here, but it ain't like those. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't buy the soft pointy brush. Damn, 
got some in my eye. But this is like a little soft, the soft brush that I use right here. You can use hard, medium, soft. It all depends on like the condition of your hair. The more smoother your hair is, the more softer brush you want to use. But if it's more rough like my hair looking right now, it don't really matter if you use a hard brush. Just don't try to brush super hard with it. Let the brush do the work. Instead of you trying to force the brush on your scalp and make your scalp so. guys have so much such a hard time transitioning from swirl to beehive though it's really easy look i ain't remix way butter what's up oh rico in here big rico what's good shout out to my boy rico make sure y'all go check out his products y'all already gonna see my most of y'all don't see my do-rag uh, reviews and stuff, but he got a lot of great products, too. Got wave butters, got pomades, got moisturizers. I think he got a leave-in conditioner now. Uh, he got brushes, got the, the uh, do-rags. That's what y'all, that's what the main thing that I be uh, promoting is like the do-rags. But he got a lot of... Uh, other products too, like I just said. Just go check out the website, Remix Wave Butter. I think that is. I don't think it's butter, so I think it's remixwavebutter.com. Type it in the uh, chat, Rico. Any reason why my hair would be falling out when I brush? I don't know. Mike Harris, what's up? Curly Hanson Smoothie. Uh, I don't really, I, I'm gonna tell you what, like a lot of the store brought products I don't really use anymore. Like, especially like Curly Hanson Smoothie, As I Am, uh, 360 uh, Style, Murray's, I don't use none of those products really. They just don't, my, I mean, they all right if that's all you can get. But I use the more, the products that people make because it's more natural. It's better for your hair. Like, my hair just like that, that stuff way better than uh, the store-brought products. You need to moisturize your hair and seal it with the oil or butter. Do you use mail and tail? Hurricane? Nah. I don't use, the only kind of shampoo I really use now is the My Fluffy Puffs um, shampoos. But I use uh, Shea Moisture. I use Shea Moisture um, from another one. Shea Moisture, Maui Moisture, OGX uh, Straight. But I don't really like the liquid shampoos because the lava be more runny. I like to use uh, the soap, the shampoo bars because the soap, it don't run as much as, like it don't drip down and get in your eye and don't get as thin as the liquid shampoos. Mr. No Days Off, shout out to Mr. No Days Off. Make sure y'all go follow my dog on YouTube, man. Especially all y'all 2K players out there. Boy with the 99 short. He just dropped a video yesterday for y'all. Uh, I want to try my fluffy puffs too. Oh, yeah. Big sale on the website. Rico say he got a big sale going on on the website, man. When he say big sale, he be having big sales. $10, $15 off his products. So 
Y'all make sure y'all go check it out. Remix Wave Butters. I love all my B.O.B.s, man. I don't, that's why I don't really like... I don't really like the store-brought stuff, man. I use a lot of B.O.B. stuff. That's the main thing that I... I, 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 I that's my go-to products. Y'all saw... Uh, Terrence Barker came in here from Trinity House of Suds earlier. Rico Remix, My Fluffy Puffs, um, Tracy Lauren Good. Uh, who else I be using? I, I ain't used HD Waves in a while, but HD Waves. Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of good products out there made by people that actually got Waves. Like Rico Remix, he actually got Waves, man. So he know how to make good products for Waveverse. You know what I'm saying? I want I want my products to come from people who actually got Waves. And they affordable. <laughs> I'm wolfing. Isaiah, what's good? Murray Sporting Waves, that's. No, I don't use none of that. <laughs> You just started in that crown right already. Akeem, what's good? Me too, Hurricane. Oh, yeah. Everyone in here, swim team. Ah, we in the building. Oh, yeah. Why they keep saying those letters, WTBD? <laughs> Man, my dog, Court, no, y'all don't, don't pay no attention to Court. Court in WTBD. Y'all ever seen, like, when I go to Jesus' shop, I didn't even put no footage up from when I went to New York. I don't know why. But uh, when I went to New York to the My Fluffy Puffs little pop-up shop, my dog was with me. Uh, every time I went to Jeezy, he was with me. We went to the hair show in New Orleans, he was with me. Went to the hair show in ATL, he was with me. <laughs> He he definitely WTBD. He gonna be starring his own YouTube too. He my doc, he way more funnier than me. I just come on here and try to teach y'all a little something, something. But my dog, he he can teach you and he can make you laugh at the same time. <laughs> Man, a straight fool right though. He's the fat, fresh guy. Oh, yeah. Mr. Fat Fresh on IG. I'm just trying to... Besides my crown, though, the main thing that I'm trying to focus on is pulling this left side. It, it already looked a little straighter than when I, from when I before I just started brushing. I'm trying to pull that left side down, like straight down, a little bit more, so my ways will be straight in the back. It took me like three months to transition from. Because when I first started, I was going beehive. And then when I saw Jeezy, I had started swirling. But it took me like three months just to get my left side to start to go vertical. And take it take a couple months, man, to transition your hair from one thing to the other. So don't think you're going to have, like, fantastic waves in one day. You can get your waves started in one day, but they ain't going to be, like, the best, best waves unless you just... Know your angles off the rip and your hair is starting at curl length. And it's still then, you still going to have like uh, problems that you have to deal with. What happens if you wolf for a whole two months because that is what I'm doing? Uh, what happens if you wolf for a whole two months because that's what I'm doing? Uh, <clears throat> It all depends, man. How much work are you putting in on the wolf? You can grow your hair for two months, but if you ain't brushing enough, you know what I'm saying? Your wolf is pointless. 
You got to be using hard brushes. You got to be combing a lot. You got to do washing styles. You got to double compress. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that make your wolf successful. And when you think your wolf is over, you come out with the clay and lay and lay it back down and keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that make a, a successful wolf. My left side is my weak side. It all, you must, it, everything is really about hair length and angles. So just like you, you got a wolf. If your left side, your weak side, you got to concentrate on that side. Really pay attention to the angles that you're brushing. Pay attention to the angles that you're brushing. Wolf it out. Pay attention to the angles that you're brushing. You know what I'm saying? Especially like when you're doing washing style because that's like the number one thing to help transition your waves from one thing to another, the washing style. But you don't want to do it every day. You still only want to do it like a max of three times a week, but that might be a little too much. Like right now, I'm probably washing once a week, maybe twice. It all depends. Once to twice a week right now. But when I do do the washing style, I try to do it for at least like an hour. I'm trying to do it for a, like get my wash session in for an hour right now. So that wash can really be beneficial to the transition of my ways, how I want them to go. But that's like one of the main things. Because when I started doing washing style, I was... But uh, before, I was just waving, you know what I'm saying? I was just brushing. I wasn't really washing my hair, brushing it, putting a do-rag on, then rinsing the shampoo out and let it dry. But once I started doing that, I started noticing a major, major, major difference in how my waves look. It was like, dang, boy, what did you do? I was like, man, I'm doing like a little mini reset. I do like a little mini reset on my waves, and I curl, I just do the scramble wash first, then I do the deep conditioning with my hair still curled, and then I come back and I wash it again. I wash it and I do the washing style when I do it. And when I went to doing that, it's like my waves went to a whole nother level in like two weeks and I was wolfing. I gotta wolf my sides, oh yeah. Everybody come in swimming. I use Shea Moisture Enhance and Smoothie for my waves and oil. I mean, if it worked for you, that's that's cool. But it all depends on your hair type as far as like that curly hands and smoothie. If you already got curly hair, you don't really need it. Like if you got medium or coarse hair, you don't really need curly hands and smoothie. But if you got like straight hair or something like that, it might help a little bit better. Because, I mean, to me, for me, it was making my hair over curl. But even if, even that, you got to... Like monitor, you gotta monitor how much product that you're putting in your head before you uh don't put too much in because it is it can easily cause overcurl in your hair if you put too much moisture in your hair and it'll be hard for it to lay down even if you double compress and do all those things. But if your hair wet, it's gonna more than likely be curled up anyway. So. Make sure you just paying attention to what state your hair is in. Like when you do a washing, not a wash, but if you moisturize and your hair is curled up before you rag up, more than likely your waves ain't gonna come out as late as you think they are. But all you gotta do is just pay attention to when you unrag and see if it's like more curled than laid. Then you'll say, yeah, I need to try to use less product and if that don't work, then you might need to try a whole nother product. Curl Enhanced and Smoothie overcurls my hair with each use. I put a dime size amount in. That's, yeah, you want to start with like a dime size amount. The more hair you have, the more product you got to put in your hair too, though. Don't, don't just get stuck on that, like that dime size amount of products. If you're using multiple products, then yeah. But if you're just using like one product at a time, like if you got a three-month wolf, a dime size ain't going to do you justice like if you put in like a quarter size or something like that right though. 
So it all it it, it just really be depending on like your cur your hair length really the main thing and your porosity level all that good stuff. I use oils and plastic bags and my joints stay shiny. That's yep. Oils definitely make your hair shine and the plastic bag make your hair shine. Ain't nothing wrong with those two things right though. Shavar, what's going on? What that brush do? Why not do a clay and lay? I do clay and lays all the time, but I ain't did now right now. Clay and lay is for like a deep wolf. You don't want to use it just to be using clay and lay. Like if you got like a two month wolf going on, I say wait till like eight weeks. Eight weeks of wolfing. So that's like really i mean at least six weeks of wolf and that's really like eight weeks total so like eight weeks eight to ten you can like eight weeks you can start doing uh clay and lay you can do it at a shorter length too but it's gonna strain your hair out a little bit but it also helps with connections especially like in your crown area that was like one of the main things that helped my crown get connections when I went to doing that clay and lay, it made my connections more strong and more defined than my crown. And once you're done with your crown work, then you can move on to like the rest of your head. You don't want to be, but like I say, you got to isolate your crown from your, the rest of your head. Don't brush your crown with like the sides and the top of your head or the back. You want to just go around it and tap. Right outside your crown. So like, even though my crown is right there, your crown area, it's like, right up in this like right all around your crown is your crown area you want to work outside of that so i will start like right here you see this is i got to get a little bit more hair right now because that's like what my crown originally is at right there so when i turn to the side you can see like that area open up a little bit because that's where it's originally at but once you get that hair right there and you start training it it'll go away. You just gotta, you can put your crown in a way you really want to. A lot of people like using their natural crown though, but me, I never been the one to use my natural crown because it, my crown is like offset, so it will make my ways unsymmetrical. So that's the only reason why I really don't use that. I'm using my real crown. Costy Doc, appreciate you, man. Costy Doc, uh, co uh, yeah, Costy Doc, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Appreciate that, man. I got 180 ways. Does the plastic bag method work? Yeah. I mean, plastic bag is just to lay your waves down, make it more smoother at the end of your session. You can't just use a plastic bag and think you're going to get waves, but it definitely worked. If you don't got, the, if you, like, that's why, I, instead of plastic bag, I use the lay down G. And it's just like a plastic glove. It's a little bit less tacky, you know what I'm saying? And you, you don't have to keep reusing. Like, you don't have to keep getting a plastic bag. You can just keep reusing the glove. They're very durable. They don't really mess up like that. You ever make your own oil water mixes? If so, what you put in the bottle? Uh, Sometimes I'll make an oil mix. And I usually use, like, argan oil. Argan oil is like my favorite oil. Um, olive oil, uh, macadamia oil. I use avocado oil, sweet almond oil. You can put some vitamin E, jojoba. It all depends, man. But yeah, I don't I don't make oil mixes before. I don't really put water in there too much because oil and water don't really mix. But you can do like a straight oil combo. I thought his ways was better than that. 
your hair grows real fast. What do you think about biotin? Uh, I I never me personally I never use biotin. Me personally, I never use biotin to uh. Why the door open? Number one, go turn the AC back on, and I'm live on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You distracting me. Okay, you ain't asking why the door was, why the door was open. Unsymmetrical, yeah. Like if your hair, if your weight, if your crown is not like directly in the middle of your head, then your weight is gonna be unsymmetrical, like uneven on one side. Like if yours. Like say if I use my crown right here for the swirl, this left side gonna be have like a super big swoop. Then if I did my crown right here, and then the left side I have more space to swoop around. This left side would be a big swoop, and that right side would be a small swoop. And if you do the beehive, your waist, like if I did the beehive from right here, my beehive would go out. You know what I'm saying? It'll be more like Mr. Wade, like Mr. Wade, man, got the offset beehive or RG3. And that waves don't go like straight on their head like this, like straight down. They go more of a slant from their crown. I need a silky, but they cost too much. $10. <clears throat> you talking about from Rico Remix or who you talking about from? They got some cheaper do-rads out there that's pretty straight. I can't really think of the names of them right now. Um, the uh, I think it's it start with a B, but they come in like this little plastic. Uh, they come in like this little plastic container. They pretty straight. That's what this is. This do rag is right here. I can't remember the name of it. If I see the picture of it, though, I definitely know uh, what the do-rag name is. But they straight. You want to make sure you get a boo-boo cap, too. Get your boo-boo cap. You can get your monsoon cap, too. Any, any type of cap to put on top of your do-rag so you can have double compression. It's a website that got five for 20, all silkies. Biotin is good. The only do-rag I have is Red by Kiss. I don't really like the Red by Kiss do-rags because of the cut. Like, they ain't made for my head. Like, if you got a bigger head, then it'll probably work better for you. But my head, like the cut, it always stick up in the crown. It don't fit my head good the way that it's cut. I like how Rico remix and uh, this do rag cut pretty good too. The cut of the do rag uh, determine like how compressed your crown can get. So just keep that in mind. If it's not laying flat against your crown, it's not a good do rag for you. Biotin good or not? How long before you see progress in your crown using biotin? Anybody? Yeah, I, I, I really can't tell you about biotin. I ain't never, I've been blessed to not have to use biotin to have thick hair. <laughs> That's all. So I can't really tell you about the biotin. I ain't never really used it. Uh, Sir Cruz, if you go to Sir Cruz channel, he definitely uh can tell you about biotin. He got some old, old videos, probably like four, five, about maybe six years old. You know what I'm saying? Five to six years old. Go look at them old, old videos from Sir Cruz. And he talk about biotin a lot. But me, I don't really use biotin. Brandon, what's good, bro? What's cracking, Hurricane? Smash the like button as you come on, come on in, people. Appreciate that, bro. Let me make sure I ain't go, I ain't miss no. Henry, what that brush do? I finally caught it live. Stop it. <laughs> What's going on? Who you think has the best products, bro? Uh, I mean, there's no such thing as best products. To me, it's just what works for your health. 
what's the best products for your health. Everything is personalized in the way game. It's not really like, oh, this product going to work for every single person that ever use it. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to find out what worked for you. But like I say, I like using the B.O.B. products because they make it more natural than like, especially like As I Am. As I Am got some bad stuff in it. I use almond oil. Thanks. Your hair grows mega fast. Oh, yeah. What brush you using right now? I'm using this Torino Pro Curve brush. I don't know exactly what number it is, but you can, I'm pretty sure he's still selling this brush right here. It's like green, green like the green room. <laughs> it almost matched the wall right now. What's wrong with As I Am? I need to stop using it then. It got some some chemicals. Uh, I have to look it up, but some of them chemicals ain't ain't good for you that they use in there. It's like nail. They using a nail polish removal and all of that type of stuff. Uh, I have to look on the web page and see exactly what the product name is. But like, it ain't gonna affect you right away. But like in the long run, it ain't good for your health. You put in, I think it's in paint or something. They use some chemicals that's in paint or nail polish removal or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I have to go look up the product list again. But if you can't read the products that's on the pro on the product that you're using, then more than likely it got some bad products in there that you shouldn't be using. Products with sulfate. Um, matter of fact, let me see if I got a Maui Moisture uh, thing in here. Like, if you read this right here, I know y'all can't read that, but on the Maui Moisture, it's, it's tell you, like, all the things that they don't use. Like, no mineral oil, no silicone, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no soap. Sulfur, sulfated sulfurcants, no synthetic dye, no L's. So those are some of the things that's like bad for your health. I mean, in the even when women get perm, it look good, but don't mean it's actually good for your health. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to keep frying and dying your health and not even knowing it. <laughs> Fried, died, and laid to the side. Right on, so no one can blame Jeezy. Anything in excess amount isn't good for your hair. It doesn't matter if it's natural or not. Right. If you have low porosity, you need to use sweet almond oil and argan oil. Right. Like, the products that you use depend on, like, your porosity. It's like, if you got low porosity, you're going to have to use these sets of products and put them in and apply them in this type of way. If you got medium porosity, you gonna have you can use more products than you know what I'm saying. Someone with low porosity. If you got high porosity, you want to stay away from products that got like a, a lot of water in it, or uh, like water is the number one uh, ingredient, like moisturizers and stuff like that. That ain't really gonna do your hair good. You might want to stick to more like butters and pomade. What? like butters and oils and stuff like that. I don't really like using pomade, but you can. And ain't no knock on people that use pomade, but I just don't like using it. I, I used it before, but it just has so much buildup in your hair. That's the only reason why I don't really like using pomade like that. Thank you. I think you just said that. How much longer do you think it will be before you see your fault flawless connections uh it probably take like a year of brushing to get my ways like halfway decent it might be decent to y'all but when i say decent i mean like two or less forks you know what i'm saying that's what i i, I think of when i say decent maybe three forks three at the most but i don't really want if it is if it ain't two forts or less, then that ain't good for me. 
good to me, at least. On all them forts and stuff. And all that is is just change. You know what I'm saying? Once you get a fort to a certain place in your head, you got to change the angle and just brush you know, brush till it get to the quickest spot in your um, head to your hairline. So if I had like a fort right here, I'm going to just start brushing it, trying to get it to the hairline, get it to my hairline. And then once I get a cut, more than likely it's going to be gone. Like if you go on my IG, you can see like when I, I did like uh, shot some the progression of one side and you can see the difference. Terry, what's up? What's your IG? My IG is Hurricane Henry 863. What about a S curl for waves? Uh, what do you mean S curl? Like the more the 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 S curl moisturizer activator? I mean that's straight. Like the Luster's S curl activator. If you got to use that, I mean it's straight. I don't used it before. That's like one of the first. When I used to wave way back in the day, that was one of the products that I used. But um, as far as like getting an actual S curl, you don't need to get no S curl, but you can use like the little moisturizer activator or whatever. I don't use it. When I first started waving back in 2015, I start, I was using that, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't get the same results as I do if I use like one of the more natural products. The more natural products be better. But I only been brushing a week, man. I see a lot of, right now I'm just working on the flow of my ways, making sure when you first start out, you ain't gonna have like super super good connection so the main thing you want to work on is how your waves are flowing make sure your waves are flowing out from your crown you know what i'm saying establish your crown first and then we'll start working on the rest of your pattern because you'll regret one thing people don't understand is forts move out from your crown so if you get your pattern complete then start trying to get your crown more than likely you're going to form forts in your crown and then you're going to be trying to work those forts you don't work on your ways for a year now you're trying to get your crown right and now you gotta it's pretty much like starting all the way over if you gotta pull a fort from back here all the way through like your whole head it's it's very frustrating i i don't did it i don't did it before like i had one i got down to one fort and it was like right here in my crown and I had to push that fork all the way down. Well, it was on this side right here. And I had to push it all the way down. And I never could get that fork out. I never got that fork out again. Once I did that. It got to like right. It's, it's this fork right. That's right here really. I got it to like right up in this area. And it never would move from right though. But it came all the way from the back of my head. The main thing I'm happy about is my left side is transitioned super good from the verticals. Like if y'all remember, my hair used to go, all this used to be going straight down. But now it got that, that, that 360 curve on it. Who believes I'm going to catch Hurricane Henry? Nobody. Tell him again, Red Pill. Nobody believes that. My boy Court just scalped uh, Thursday. So he gonna be trying to come and catch me. And uh, Elvin, I don't know, some of y'all might know Elvin. I think his name Elvin Earthly on YouTube, but his name Elvin Earthly on Facebook too. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, his name Earthly 540s on here. But he just scalped too. He going beehive. All us going like a th more 360 pattern. I think court going 360 swirl though. Like 360 uh beehive swirl. What's the best brush? 
there's not really a best brush per se, but I, I use a lot of Torino's and royalty brushes. They made by the same person. So that's really like the best brand of brushes, but it's not really a best brush per se. It all depends on what you like brushing with. Hard, medium, soft. I know now to start with the crown first because I'm going through some unnecessary stuff. Shaking my head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to start with that crown first, man. Oh, it's going to be rough. I'm telling you. Like right now, that's why I've been focused. I, I focus real hard on my crown. I might do a whole hour session just on my crown and brush the rest of it for 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> Red P, I taught Hurricane everything he knows. How many of y'all old enough to know what uh, Moon Moonwalker is? The Michael Jackson video where the little kid, if y'all saw Smooth Criminal, too, when the little kid be looking through the window and Michael Jackson be down there dancing, he be like, look at him. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> That's court right now. <laughs> oh, shit. What it do, bro? Good to see you back. What's up, Leonard? All my Sorrel inspiration switched up. It's just me, Ed, and A stick in the 540s. Oh, yeah. I'm debating on shifting my beehive in the Sorrel. I mean, <clears throat> it ain't nothing wrong. I, I love the Sorrel, man. I'm only going to do beehive like two years, and then I'm going back Sorrel. I love Sorrel. That's my favorite crown, like 540 Sorrel, not 720. But yo, man, I might, I, I, I might just, you know what I'm saying, go from 360 beehive to 360 swirl, just swirl the crown up instead of just trying to swirl the whole pattern up. Rock that for a little minute. But that crown is pretty straight. It ain't the best. It ain't in the best location. I probably would want it to be more like actually right there, but it's still in a good little spot for me to, you know what I'm saying, get my foundation right. I don't think I'm going to move it no more. But as you for all the guys that just got on here, you see I ain't brushing like my whole pattern when I brush my crown. I just come around it and tap lightly. Just tapping it lightly. Go around it. And I'm only brushing with one hand because I can't really brush it. My arm don't, my left arm don't bend the way that I need it to bend so I can brush my left side of my crown with my left hand. So I just take try to take my time and do it with the right. It probably would be a little bit better if I did it with the left though. I mean, I can, but my coordination with, I should say my coordination ain't as good with my left as it is with my right. My arm can definitely bend back though. How long you been wolfing for a hurricane? Actually, I'm just really starting to wolf. I, I I had cut so low, it took me a little minute to get back to my normal haircut cut length, which is like a two. So when I got when I get to the it's probably like right at a two now. But it, it, I've been growing my hair like since May 6th. I cut I, I scalped on May 6th, so 
And it's been, it's going on two months since I scalped. I probably go like four months without getting a haircut somewhere up in there before I just get like a cut. I might go get a trim up or something like that, just get the temp. Bro got the filter on his AVI though. But yeah, they dipping Hurricane Had You Beat in the past though. My crown shift when I brush it, how do I avoid it from shifting every single time? Uh, Put some pomade back though. That's the main thing that you can do. And another thing is double compress. Like you want to put the do-rag on. You want to get like a do-rag and put it on. And then put the boo-boo cap on top of it like this right here. And boom, you double compress and that'll help your crown stay in place. And it'll protect, get that, that boo-boo cap, give you like an extra layer of protection. You should wolf for two months and have coarse hair. What do you think you should? If you wolf for two months and have coarse hair, what do you think you should cut your hair down to? It all depends on how thick your hair is. 1.5 or a 2, though. If you wolf in that. It all, and if you need to do more foundation work, definitely a 1.5. What's your favorite pomade? I mean, if I had to use a pomade, it'd probably be HD Waves pomade. That's probably one of my favorite pomades. Jonathan, appreciate that, bro. How do I make my crown small? Just doing the tap method like I was just doing. All you're going to do is just go around your crown. Like if you got the open area, you want to put the brush actually in the open area and just go to tapping it real lightly all the way around. Because if you brush, don't use the whole brush when you're brushing your crown. You got to use the tip. If you got like a, 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 a flat brush and you don't have a brush that has a pointy end like these right here, where you can just use like the tip of it. You're going to have to use just like the corner, like that many bristles right there on your crown and just do the same thing. Don't use the whole brush when you're brushing your crown. That'll make your crown smaller right though. Until I get a good crown brush done. That's what I use for mine. And it has a mini wood brush that looks like a travel toothbrush. Great for isolating crown. Yeah. And it do got those little small brushes. Dude, that clay and lay method really helps your hair. Oh yeah. Number one, it detoxifies your hair. Number two, your hair gonna be super duper laid. And number three, it helps like define your connections. So those are the main three things Clay and Lay does for me and a lot of people. I mean, like I like I say, everything ain't for everybody though. So don't just, just cause I said that, don't think it, it, it's gonna have the same effect on every single person that does it, but the majority of people that do clay and lay love it if you use it for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be doing a clay and lay and your hair super low. And clay and lay is for laying down and maintaining your wolf. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have a nice, you want to have a nice little bit of hair. Almost to where your hair is uncontrollable. Once it get to that uncontrollable stage, then you can do the clay and lay. And all I do when I do clay and lay, I do a washing style first. Then I put the clay in there while my hair, I rinse the shampoo out and I I make the clay first, actually make the clay first, do a washing style for about 10, 15 minutes. And as soon as I rinse the shampoo out from the washing style with my hair soaking wet, I put the clay in there. And then I put a conditioning cap on, let it condition for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I, I put a, a scully on top of it too while it's conditioning. And then once I do that, I put my 
a boo-boo cap on or do-rag or whatever. And then I uh, rinse it out and let it dry for like three or four hours minimum. Right on Wolf and Bad. Oh yeah, do you use goat drip products regularly? I I haven't used goat drip products at all. So I can't, I, I know I don't, um, I I only heard good, I mean, I ain't only heard good things about it, but the majority of the things that I heard about it is good. So if you can afford to get the goat drip products, test it out and see if you like it. You know what I'm saying? But I personally haven't used them, so I can't really tell you about them. How many brushes do you have? Uh, I probably got like 30 some brushes. I used to have way more. I lost like 50 brushes when I went to Jeezy the first time and I don't gave away like six brushes right now. Like if one of my little cousins or something come over here, I give them a brush to brush their head. Sometimes I get one of these little jitty bugs around here a brush, but uh, I ain't got that many brushes like I used to have. I probably got like 30 brushes at the most. Can't find Boo Boo Amazon. Uh, they should have Boo Boo caps on Amazon, but if not, you're gonna have to go to like a beauty supply store. That's where you find most of the Boo Boo caps, or you can go like on Facebook or something, go to one of the Wave pages and they and ask anybody, do they have some Boo Boo caps for sale? Tracy Lauren usually have boo-boo caps. I think Brush King usually have boo-boo caps too. So if you can't find them on Amazon, you're going to have to go to one of those guys' websites and you can get some boo-boo caps. Somebody definitely got boo-boo caps though. I want to try. I hope it gets my... hope I get it for my B-Day next month. Who cut your hair in Polk County? I need a good barber. Uh, if you in Polk County, the dude that cut my hair now is uh, Wayne, uh, Marlo Cuts. You have to look him up on Facebook, Marlo Cuts. That's my homeboy. Uh, before that, it was T the Barber, but he moved to Cali. And that's pretty much the only guy I let touch my hair now. I was going to the Bearded Dragon in Haines City, but uh, I don't really go there no more he i let him cut my ways one time and he ended my he ended my 540s for a while for like a whole year <laughs> he cut my 540s like a beehive so it just messed my whole right side up killed me besides murray's what's the strongest pomade you ever use hd waves you smoke yeah i smoke but i don't smoke like weed no more i used to smoke a whole bunch of weed, but <laughs> I don't smoke no more. I just smoke black and miles. Check out Amazon. What's your favorite medium curve brush? Uh, probably this one right here, this green brush right here. It's probably my favorite medium curve. I don't know where the rest of them at. I got some more. I got like five curve brushes. I forgot all about this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes right here. You probably can't get this brush no more. The Scarface. Yeah, this is one of my favorite medium brushes, period, right here. The Scarf, the, the Royalty 709. This is one of the only brushes I know the numbers of. This is a nice, this brush is fire. I gotta do, I gotta do a review on this brush too. I had got the 360, when I went to New York, I had got the 360 wave process brush. I say, boy, this brush seemed like it is showing up be perfect for uh, 360 waves. This is, and it actually surprised me like how, how the brush actually was. It's, it's a pretty nice brush. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I don't know how much he's selling for though. If it's like twenty dollars, I would I would get it. But 
If it's more than that, I probably, I don't know. I think I paid, uh, he gave me two brushes actually. He gave me one for free. I brought this one. I think I brought it for like $20. And then he gave me another brush for free. When I went to New York, I met him up there in New York at the uh, My Fluffy Post pop-up shop. But uh, I don't... I, it's a lot of brushes you can use, man. $22. That's the only B.O.B. brush I got besides a Softy Dan Diane. Oh, you got that too? I used to smoke blast. Now I can't breathe. <laughs> uh boy, do you do giveaways? Yeah, I do giveaways. We do it's a if you join the wave pages, it's always a giveaway going on on the wave pages. You know what I'm saying? So you won't have to just wait on like one particular person. It'd be multiple people doing uh brush giveaways. We give away like four or five brushes every month for a uh, wave mogul competition. It's like a campaign like Wave King, Wave Build a Wave King, pretty much. But we, instead of paying you money, we'll uh, buy you some brushes and we're going to give you a whole bunch of products. You know what I'm saying? You give you like $90. We, you can buy like $90 worth of brushes from Amazon or BrushKing.org. And then you can, uh, you're going to get you some a Rico Remix pack and you're going to get a Trace and Lauren pack right now and sometimes i throw in an extra bob uh in uh every now and then but i'm finna get ready to get up off of here man i appreciate y'all for tuning in let me see let me ask, answer uh two more questions then i'm gonna get up off of here I'm trying to trying to collaboration on giveaways. Go join Waves Our Life on Facebook. The Facebook group called Waves with a capital Waves Capital R Life. So like Toys R Us, Waves Our Life. How do you get rid of flakes? Uh you really just gotta wash wash your hair real good. Do a scramble wash. Scratch everything, got it up. And just watch what kind of shampoo you're using, too. And then if that don't work, you might have to cut low and just do the same thing. Just scramble wash real good. Make sure your hair is, your scalp is a dry. That's the main thing where flakes come from. You ain't putting, like, no moisturizer or oils in your head. Sometimes that's that be the problem where flakes come from. Or... You might have too much product in your head. That's another thing that causes flakes. But if you're washing your hair regularly and uh, oiling it up, you shouldn't. That'll get rid of flakes easy. I know you seen my comment. Uh, let me see the do rag kid. Let me see. Let me scroll up. Do rag. What's your favorite butter? Uh, my favorite butter is probably this uh, 360 Wave, Natural Waves Dipping Woofing Butter. But I don't think that, that, I know that ain't your comment. Let me see. I don't see your comment, bro. You call them jitty bugs. Oh, yeah. Say your comment again. But that's Dipping Woofing Butter. This is my favorite uh, butter right here. What's your most favorite brush? My most favorite brush is probably Diane 8159. Out of all time, this is my favorite brush right here. But they don't sell this no more. It's a you might it's rare that you come around, come across this brush. Damn, I'm trying to get in that hurricane. <laughs> You ever use S7? I've been using that. Yeah, I use S7 for sure. Do rag kid, I didn't see your comment though. I try to read every comment. I didn't see your comment. 
besides Murray, what's the strongest pomade? I, I said that. Yeah, I didn't see your comment, do rad kid. If you want to ask it real quick before I get off, what's the plans for the fourth? Uh, they have a fireworks show here in my hometown. I probably end up going to that, watching the fireworks on the lake. Uh, I used to go to Daytona all the time for the fourth of July and watch the fireworks on the beach, but. I don't probably, I probably don't do that right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but that's more than likely. The that butter you got, where can I get some? Uh, the dude that makes this, I don't know. I have to hit him up because I was a long time ago. If y'all look at like my my post on here, you'll see I said I was gonna do a review on these these products right here, but I never did it because the dude. He um, he pretty much stopped making it, but he make he'll make it if I hit him up and say, hey man, I need some uh wolfing butter or something like that. I don't know what he do for a living, but he be all over the all over the country and stuff like that. So he don't really be making it as much as he should. He can he really could just make that and be straight. Hearing you got a lot of mad knowledge about hair slash ways and products. Appreciate it, man. I mean, I've been doing it for a little minute now. Uh, I started in 2015, you know, and from there I just been gaining the knowledge. I mean, it took me like a year. I'm a I'm a I'm a student. I was a student of the game for like a year. Then I started, you know, what I'm saying doing my own thing because. I caught I caught on so quick with angles, products, how to put them in, all that type of stuff real quick. So ever since I've been in the game for like a year, I've been sharing it with other people. What do you think about Royal Hair Care products? I never use Royal Hair Care products either. That's made by Just Wavy. Um, I never use Just Wavy or, or Poppy. I mean, I, I heard good things about Royal products and I heard bad things about it, just like any product that I do. But uh, like I say, man, you gotta just try, you gotta try different things and see what your hair likes. Cause everything that everybody like ain't gonna really be for you. You know what I'm saying? I guess uh, Durag Kid, I don't know, do rat kid. He's, I I just see him say thanks, bro. I don't know if I answered your question or not. I guess I did. Bro, you really helping us out. Thanks. You welcome, Jacob. Remix products are the way to go. Yeah, let me try that wolf and butter. I'm gonna uh, hit the dude up, and y'all come back on my next live. I probably go live tomorrow. Go live tomorrow and answer some more questions. You know what I'm saying? Get a small little session in. And then I'm going to hit up him and see. It might take him a day or two to answer, though. But whenever he answer, I'll let y'all know what's what's up. But if you go on IG, look up Brush Brush 360. And uh, it's uh, 60 with an S, though. S-I-S-T-Y. So it's Brush then he's got it spelled out three, then sixty s i s t y. I I I put his i g in the. I have to look it up, but it, just look up brush three sixty. It might be with numbers. I I can't remember, but that's his name on uh. His name on on uh, i g brush three sixty. But man, y'all, I'm finna get up out of here, but y'all already know what it is. Slave Wavy, what's going on? You don't caught me on my outro. <laughs> what's good, though? But y'all already know what it is, though, man. If you ain't got your none, you better grab a brush and get you some, huh? See y'all later.